Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is part 8 of scenario based question series. Before starting this video, if you have not subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon for upcoming and interesting videos. So without any further delay, let's get started. Our first question is write logic to find out second purchase date of each customers. Okay. In our last video, we have discussed about how to find out first order date or purchase date. And someone asked me how to find out second purchase date. So I'm adding this question in my video. For this, we need the logic of first order date that I have already created in my data set. If you want to know more about how to find out first purchase date, then you should check out our last video that is part seven. I will add the link in the description box. Now let's focus on our question. For this, let's create a calculated field and rename it second purchase date and now write our logic for this I'm using fixed LOD based on customer name because we need to find out second purchase date of customers okay now write our colon and for aggregation I'm using minimum because we need to find out our second purchase date so that we can compare with our first order date and find out our second purchase date okay now I am using if statement if our order date is greater than first purchase date let's make it more readable then we should get our order date okay and our calculation and close our fixed LOD okay from here what we are doing is we are doing if our order date is greater than first order date then it should give us order date which should be minimum means it will give us second order date okay now just click on okay now drag customer name and drag our order date as well and change it to exact date and discrete values okay now drag our second purchase date repeat the same process it will take few seconds and now drag it here now you can see we are getting second purchase of each customer okay as you can see 7th march 2019 is a second purchase date for our first and for this customer as well as you can see and same for others as well this is how you can find out second purchase date let's say if you want to find out our third purchase date for this just duplicate it and go to edit and instead of using here first purchase date use our second purchase date okay and then just click on okay if you drag it here and change it to exact date and now change it to discrete values and drag it here now you can see we are getting the third purchase date of each customer okay this is how you can find out and purchase date for each customer now let's move to our next question let's say we have four regions that is central east west and south with their state that is showing profits user wants subtotals of profit only for east west and south how you can hide subtotal only for central region okay now first understand the problem we have regions with their states and with their profit okay now let's add grand total and their subtotal okay so we have four regions with their states and showing profit and we need subtotal only for east south and west how we can hide the subtotal for central okay for this there is a no direct way to do it if you click on it and you will not able to get any option to hide subtotal only just for specific reasons okay 
for this we'll use a trick now right click on it and hide this okay before hide this let's check our grand total that is 292 297 okay and if we hide this our grand total remains same okay now in this sheet we are having three regions that is east west and south okay now we are going to create one more sheet only just for central region with their data okay now create a dashboard and drag our both the sheets hide their title and change it to fit height adjust the size of the sheet okay now go to layout and remove its padding and do the same thing for second sheet as well now if you look at this we are getting all four regions okay this is central this is east west and south and our grand total is same okay so this is how we can solve this problem and to hide subtotal only for central region so this is the one method that i found if you know any other trick or any other method please write down in the comment section so that i can add in our next video okay now let's move to our next question how to find repeating customers and new customers okay so for this we'll use our first purchase date calculation so that by using this we can find out our who is a new customer and who is repeating customer okay for this let's create a calculator field and rename it new or repeating customers okay and we'll write our logic if order date is equal to first purchase date then one else zero and and our calculation okay if order date is equal to first purchase date means if any customer is purchasing for the first time then it is new customer else it is repeating customer okay now write it here new customers repeating customers okay why we are using 0 and 1 so that we can create a calculated field and find out the sum of total new customers okay just click on okay now create a calculated field new customers okay and sum of new or repeating customer because in that calculation one represent to new customer so we'll find out the sum of new customers okay and click on okay now create a calculated field to find out total customers okay total customers is count of customer name now we have total customers and new customer okay now how to find out repeating customer just minus new customer from total customers okay repeating customers total customer minus new customers okay just click on ok now drag our order date and change it to month now drag our new customers and where is our repeating customer drag it here and make it synchronize access okay now you can see this orange color represent repeating customers and blue color represent new customers okay from here you can see 
post September 21, we are having more new customer rather than repeating customer. Okay, and after that, the graph of new customer are decreasing. And if you look at the repeating customers, the after that, the graph of repeating customers are increasing. For this, we can use trend line as well to check it more. As you can see, the trend line is going to downside and repeating customer trend line is going to upside. Okay, so this is how you can find out repeating and new customer okay that's it for this video thank you so much guys if you like the video please do like share and subscribe and stay tuned for upcoming videos